everyone. I don't know if you've ever wondered what it's like to be in someone else's harp lesson. Well, today you're going to get that feeling. I'm going to show you footage from one of my students, Kayla. She has so kindly agreed to share the footage from her Skype harp lesson where she learned, started learning to sing and play for the first time. Ah, it's so exciting. So Kayla came to me asking for Skype lessons to learn to sing and play. And I told her we first needed to spend a little bit of time um, learning basic harp technique. And in this lesson, it was the first time we actually decided to start learning to sing and play. And in this lesson, you will see how Kayla started out learning the chord pattern for Sally Gardens. And then she slowly started putting it together with the singing. And we also addressed um, some of the feelings of being uncomfortable singing in front of other people. And um, she, she just mentioned a few of those fears of hers and you'll see how she blossomed so beautifully during this Skype lesson and by the end she is fluently singing and playing with a simple harp accompaniment. So it's a wonderful thing to see. I really hope you guys enjoy it and let me know if you have any questions or any comments and make sure you put down in the comments a big thank you to Kayla for being willing to share this footage with you guys and even share her, um, her experience in a moment of being quite vulnerable but knowing that it might help some other people out there so thank you so much to Kayla and I hope you guys enjoy watching this video I don't know about you but I'm very excited to get started on Sally Gardens so I was kind of thinking that maybe we should just get started on Sally Gardens and um, do what we can with that and then if we have time go back to the other things at the end of the lesson what do you think okay we can do that because yeah, I think I think it's really exciting to to get moving on that because that's really been your your dream to sing and play so i had a look at that video you sent me of the example um singing and harp singing harpers to you really like to record thing and um so i've kind of made a simple version that we can start with so that you really get the hang of singing and playing and then as you get more used to it, then we can build the complexity so that we have a really interesting half part, but we're going to keep it really simple to start off with. Um, but the first thing is to just check the key. So at, as far as I could tell, I didn't actually take my harp right there to the video, but I think that that singer was singing it in the key of C. Yeah, C and actually, I'm not sure if C or G is more comfortable for me. Okay. Um, a little bit lower. So. <laughs> So that's the first thing we just need to check that the key is going to work for you. Um, so what I would suggest to just check that is we just choose a simple chord like C, E, G. And then you just try singing. Down by the Sally Gardens. Just try a little bit of the song so you can see if it suits your voice range. Down by the Sally that sounds great that sounds like it's a good place in your voice um so then the second half um she bid me so it's only going to go one note higher than that so um maybe say um as, maybe sing as the leaves grow on the tree. Try singing that. Let me see, where does it on an E? It's gonna start on an E. As the leaves grow on the tree. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. So now we know the key is fine. <laughs> How did it feel for you? I think my voice broke, but that's just because I'm not used to singing anymore. Uh -huh. um, it's been a long time since I've actually really sung. Um, well, that's a pity because your voice is beautiful. So we're gonna we're gonna remedy that situation. <laughs> and also because you, it's first thing in the morning, right? So that's never the best time for singing. Like so if you can reach that yeah. note comfortably like that. Um, first thing in the morning, then I think we've got the right key. <laughs> um, 
Um, if you find partway through that it doesn't, but just because I think C is a nice key to be working in. And if we take it too much lower, then it's going to be a bit of a, um, it's not, it's going to be too low in your voice. Like if we did G major, I think it wouldn't be ideal. We could have done B flat major, but then that's, it's not as easy a key to start with. I think it's nice to learn something in C. No. Do you want to try it in G quickly? <clears throat> What do you think? I could probably do it comfortably in either one. So I think maybe we should go with the higher one because I think as your voice warms up and you're a bit more used to singing, I think that your voice sounds really lovely and clear in that register, whereas the lower, the G one, it kind of sounds a little bit like it's not the best place in your voice for just singing out and for people really hearing you nicely. Um, okay. I think that's your, um, the beauty, the beautiful tone of your voice really comes out the best in C. So let's go with that. Okay, so now the next step is to figure out what the chords are and just do a really basic, just kind of plucking the chords at each point in the song so that we can get used to that chord progression. So it's going to be first C, triad of C, which is C, E, G. Right, let me just bring you a little bit closer. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to go to G. So let's give that a try. Play your C triad. Okay, and remember as you pluck it, you're going to have your fingers pointing down nice and low and your thumb nice and high. And as we pluck it, we're going to go straight into the palm of the hand and end up with a a, um, a fist like this. So you're going to pluck it in. Try it again. Oh, that's much better. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the first one, and then down to a G. And then G is lovely, and then the F. What, what chord you made it? F -A -C. Um, so F, it's just going to be F A C. And back to C again. And then, so this is the pattern of the, the verse. Um, C, G, F, C. And then F, G, C. That's the pattern okay, that's going to come every time. Okay, let me break that down. I actually have paper this time. This well, is you're welcome to write it, but rather don't put it in a place where you can visually rely on it. I wanted to rather get into your brain. Um, so you can write it down if you want to look back at it later. But we want to, um, because we're singing and playing now, we want to be um, free from visual aid so that you can concentrate on the coordination of singing and playing. Don't look stressed. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> we're okay. going to keep it really simple. So okay. um, C, G, That's right. It's G, um, G, B, D. That's right. Great. And then F and back to C. Okay, let's start with that. Okay, let's do it one more time. Just um, pluck it so you can, you can really feel that um, confident triad, plucking it and coming all the way into the palm of your hand. Great. Okay, so now we're going to try it with a little bit of singing. So it will look, it will be like this. Down by the Okay, great. You remembered all the chords in the right order. Well done. <laughs> so now let's look at getting them in time. So what this means is 
as you're finished playing your C, you've got to already be lining up your fingers for the G. And you can be looking with your eyes where the next chord is coming. Yes, so even if it means that your fingers are on the strings way before you need to play it, that's fine. So you just pluck it and as soon as you've finished plucking, you're going to start lining up for the next chord. So let's try and let's try and do that without the singing. Just pluck, line up very quickly, pluck, line up quickly and get ready for the next one every time. Wow, that was so much faster. <laughs> okay, so that was actually perfect timing for the singing. So I know it will probably take a step back and be a little slower when you're singing at the same time. But let's give it a try. So sing, sing slowly so you give yourself some time and see if you can line the, the chords up. Almost. Beautiful. Let's try it again so it feels easy. Down by the Lovely. How did that feel? A lot more natural than the first time. Yeah. <laughs> you have amazing quick progress. Okay, and now the my it's good from this this next little phrase is going to be F. G, C. So, F, and G, and C. Okay, so it will sound like this. Um, my love. You even got it in time. <laughs> so let's try that again. And this time, let's keep it in time and see if you can also get the nice closing of your hand into your palm. Into your palm. I love and I did me. Wow, that's so good. I just love your voice. <laughs> I'm so glad we're getting you singing again because you can't keep that inside. It needs to be heard. <laughs> I have not been told that a lot, so that feels really good. Well, good. It's true. Well, I mean, I don't see why people would say anything different. <laughs> there have been a few people, one particular person in my life that was very negative, so. Oh, well, that's terrible. Yeah. Because singing is something where it's, your voice is a part of your body, and so it's not like you choose your voice. Um, and there's a reason why every person's voice is different. So we need to appreciate the differences of our voices. Sometimes I'll have someone comment on my YouTube videos and say, I wish I had your voice. And okay. it just kind of baffles me because I have, yeah, exactly. And it's the crazy part is that, like I sometimes feel like that about other people. Um, but I just think if we can each go on a journey of figuring out why do we have this voice and what is it good for, then actually you can end up loving your own voice, even though you are kind of jealous of other people's voices at the same time. Cause I still feel like that when I hear people singing beautiful alto lines, I'm just so jealous cause I can't do that. But at the same time, I appreciate what's nice about my voice. So I think we can celebrate what we've got and be jealous at the same time. <laughs> I am very, very envious of your range. Oh, well, thanks. <laughs> Phenomenal. But then so. you see, I've had a, a difficult journey of um, my voice is naturally very breathy. And so I've at the same time had to um, improve that. So it's not as breathy as it used to be. But also appreciate that actually it's a good thing that some people prefer listening to a voice that is more gentle and not very nasal. And so that's the advantage of my voice. People will say that my voice is pretty, but they'll never say my voice is powerful. And that's just my natural strengths and weaknesses. So I think um, it's funny to me when, when people say things like that, because for me, it's also been a journey. It's not easy for any of us. Um, but yeah, you've got a lovely tone to your voice. So don't let people tell you otherwise. <laughs> okay, so let's try it again. So um, C, G, 
F C for the first line and then F G C. So let's try putting it's them together. It might be hard. Or do you want to do one line at a time first to remind yourself? Because we've been chatting a bit. Let's do. I'll see how far I can go. Okay, give it a try. Uh, uh, down by the sunny I'm like I'm not fucking far enough <laughs> <laughs> well we can't concentrate on everything at the same time so I think that's just the first time just think about the chords in the order and get the singing and then we'll take it from there so now we try it again and um, let's see if you can still be comfortable with what chord is coming next and also look a little bit at how your hands are plucking <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's okay kind of it's a like constant journey juggle. <laughs> so learning to juggle but you're juggling seven things at once instead of learning it with like two Yes, <laughs> there's too many things to think about. So we've got to be forgiving of ourselves because we can't do it all at the same time. <laughs> and I got to say this harpsicle stick, I just got it this week. Oh, yeah. Last week. It really does help balance. Oh, good. So it really is handy. I'm glad. So, okay. Uh, uh, down by the Lovely, good, well done. Even when you had that moment of freaking out, you still kept going. <laughs> okay, good. So, um, what was the thing I wanted to comment on? Oh yes, your rhythm is very good. So the, that's something that doesn't come naturally to everybody. Some people um, just naturally have that sense of rhythm and it's just innate in you and you know that if you're late, you're late. <laughs> and for other people, they actually have to learn that. It's not that it's impossible to learn, but it is more of a struggle for some people than others. So you can be glad that that's coming naturally to you. <laughs> Um, so because the, the reason I can see it is because you know exactly what the right time to pluck that um, the chord is and you're very aware when you're late. I can see it from the way you're doing it. So that's amazing. Well done. Um, great. So I think we should look at another little pattern to um, because rather than bringing in the, the chords of the second half, which is slightly different chord progression. I think we should work with what we've got so far and take it a little step further and then we'll look at a different chord pattern for the second half great so are you ready for the second half of the melody let's roll <laughs> so now we're going to do an a minor which is a c e right and make sure you pluck it correctly good and then we're going to f and then g and C. And then that's pretty much the only different pattern really. So A minor, F, G, C. And then, um, yeah, so she bid me take life easy. So you give that a try. So we're, not, we're changing maybe a little more frequently than what you have heard before. Um, so it's going to be bid me take F life easy. I'm G. Bid 
take. All right, so uh, A minor, sorry. So we're changing at the same speed that we've been changing before. Lovely. And then we go back to F, G, C. Lovely. You want to try that again? Okay. What was that thoughtful look? Uh, do you not approve of my chord choices? <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, I think it's, it's very. It's funny. a bit different. It's, it's just, different to the chords that you were listening to in that other recording, right? It it's different, but I like it. It yeah. it was more of a. This is nice. Okay. <laughs> Because you're allowed to disagree with me. That's the great thing about um, traditional songs is that there is no right and wrong. Oh, that's an option too. <laughs> no, that's not right. We were gonna. What, so what I was saying was to go back to C there. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. And, and then, then we go back to, to before C. impressed with yourself you should be <laughs> not something I ever thought I'd be able to do in my wildest dreams so kind of yeah a little bit <laughs> in one lesson right yeah that's amazing <laughs> okay so what we've got so far is um, the beginning middle pattern that we spoke about at first um, C G F C and F G C and now the second little half a minor, F, G, C, and then back to F, G, C. Right, so um, should we try all of that for the first verse? Yes. Down by the to see but I, but I was young and foolish and with her did not agree. Yay! Well done! Sure, that's amazing. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, Would I be right in saying that most of your singing has been in a group setting? Um, mostly that I've actually let people hear. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
so this is a big step singing for me and also yeah. letting me record it <laughs> um, because I either sing by myself or when I was a teenager I was part of a church choir mm. and that was about it Hello again, wasn't that fantastic? A huge thank you to Kayla for being willing to share that with all of you. I think it's absolutely amazing and just a wonderful privilege to be able to see her progressing so much in one lesson. I hope it's encouraging for the rest of you. If you've been wondering whether you can learn to sing and play and it seems like a big scary thing, don't worry you really can make a lot of progress in quite a short time. And I, I just hope that this will give, give some of you the, the courage to give it a try yourselves. Let us know down in the comments if this was helpful for you or if you have any other fears around um, your harp playing or learning to sing and play. Maybe we can get a discussion going so that we can really move past those points of fear and start tackling those dreams that we have with the harp. And remember to put down in the comments a big thank you to Kayla for sharing this footage with all of you. I think it's so brave of her to share her moment of vulnerability, but I think you can just see how much she learned in such a short time. It's absolutely wonderful and I'm sure inspiring for the rest of you. If this is your first time on my channel, then welcome. I'm so glad to have you here and I hope you'll stick around. Make sure you subscribe because I put up new videos every Thursday. And I hope to see you again next week. Bye.